What's going on guys, it's Greg back with some more Mirror 4 and uh, today I just want to talk real quick about the Arbalest nerf. Um, I know a lot of people have been asking me my thoughts on the nerf and I haven't really said too much about it. Um, so I just want to make a quick video and just talk about like my thoughts behind it. So I do agree like you know maybe some moves were a little bit too overpowered with the Arbalest before the change. But here's what I gotta tell you, like an Arbalest and this is the way I've always explained it to everyone is to me essentially a glass cannon what does that mean that means that we're very squishy can die very easily but we can put out a lot of damage now as you can see here i'm just farming in uh magic square and honestly this is a lot better for me now that i crafted my legendary but previously i was still struggling in 7-1 when it came out and this was like after the uh you know it's at the same time we got the nerf and i had just got the epic heavenly bow just before the nerf and of course you know heavenly bow is like one of our, our best move or best damage output and i appreciate like like them trying to balance the game but at the same time i think it went a bit too far in my opinion um you know we are glass cannon and they keep now buffing sorcerer and i almost believe that sorcerer will probably be better over arbalist at this point they're about to buff it again um, so, you know, I, I do feel like a sorcerer is probably a better choice because they have more defensive moves, whereas the Arbalist doesn't really have much from a defensive nature. You know, we're both range, but the Arbalist doesn't really have any defensive and the sorcerer does. And now the sorcerer damage output is increasing. So, guys, from my opinion, like, you know, I don't, I don't think it's a terrible thing what they did with the Arbalist, but I think it did go a little bit too far. And I think it just needs to be tweaked a little bit more. Uh, Heavenly Bow should be giving back a little bit more of its power. You know, it is a static move. Like, so if someone dodges out of it and stuff, you know, they can get out of it. And so it is a very strategic thing. Like, we need to time when we do it because that makes a difference in how much damage is done to the enemy. So, you know, that's just my thoughts. I mean, like, really the only defensive thing we have is our stealth. Um, and it's not that awesome, uh, to be honest. And, you know, whereas the Sorcerer has their bubble... And also, you know, like their uh, their freeze move, you know, where they can just, um, I mean, I forget what it's called. But anyway, where they can just freeze up and, uh, I mean, that causes damage, but then no damage can be done to them. Like, they can time that well with Heavenly Bow or Dodge Heavenly Bow. So, I don't know. That's my opinion, guys. I really think that they should um, increase Heavenly Bow back a little bit um, and maybe a couple of other moves. I think most everything else is pretty much balanced i do think the heavenly bow is like our main dps move and due to the rng behind it and the fact that you know people can't dodge out of it they can see it coming um i think that it can it, it should go back up some i think they've nerfed that a bit too much and i do like also I, i'm not saying i like i'm being sarcastic there i do find it very interesting that they you know said this was a bug fix and not a nerf um, there are some logistics or there's some basically some laws behind that they have to be very careful in the terminology they use because in some countries it is actually illegal to nerf in a game especially when there's money involved um, because you don't want to invest in something and then it, it, the value is decreased because it received a nerf and that's kind of what happened in this case but they call it a bug fix instead now I don't know if that you know who knows how accurate that was but it happened so Guys, that's kind of what my thoughts are. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, what do you feel about the nerf? Do you think it was warranted? Do you, well, I think most people would agree that we needed a little bit of a nerf. But do you think it was too much is my question. Do you think it was a bit too much? You know, we're supposed to be glass cannons. Um, and I feel like we lost the cannon aspect of that. We're more like glass BB guns now, right? Um, you know, we, we don't have as much damage output as we did before. And so, you know, this is one of those instances where, you know, you're kind of like, man, like, you know, I look back and I'm like, you know, the lights are looking a lot better right now, you know? Like, there's definitely more reasons to look at some other characters. I know some top-level people that also reclassed. Um, so, I don't know. Something to think about. And hopefully, you know, they keep making some adjustments. You know, we're about to get the new update for, or I guess by the time this video comes out, we probably already got the update with the latest and greatest um buffs on sorcerer and uh, taust so i don't you know that could also that's probably going to impact the arbalist even more 
Um, so I do think they need just a little bit. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments, guys. If you like the content, make sure you hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, you hit the subscribe button, turn those notifications on. I'll catch you in the next video.